Last year, Sandra was given some elephant garlic for her birthday, and the cloves are huge. We decided to plant them as an experiment at the same time as our own homegrown garlic to see what happens. They were planted on the same day in the same way into the same soil, rich and heavy. They're the easiest things to plant. Just push them under the surface with their noses upwards and cover them up. And after that, they pretty much look after themselves. The elephant garlic went in the same way, but spread out a little more, maybe 10 inches apart instead of 6 inches. The ordinary ones were first out of the ground before winter arrived. But by the spring, the elephants had caught up. All they need is some weeding once in a while when they're little. By early summer, the elephants had zoomed ahead. Don't they look a lot like leeks? Which is not surprising, of course, because they're all in the same family. Alliums, that is. We take the flower heads off as they arrive. Yes, you can eat them, and they're perfect for stir-fries. And now it's the end of July, and despite the cold and rainy summer we had, the garden ah. is blooming. Oh, flower. Lovely. Just a feast of red, and it's, it's just so beautiful. I always underestimate them and make their things not tall enough. Time to harvest the garlic. That's the, the normal garlic, normal sized garlic. The tops have died back and um, seems like it's they've stopped growing. And um, look! One clove has become ten, which surely is some kind of a miracle. This is why we could never get tired of gardening and growing our own food. They're not bad, are they, considering the um, summer we had? Oh, not at all, but not at not all. And it's quite it's the wettest corner of the garden here, so really... Yeah, soggy soil. Yeah, it doesn't great for them here, really. Let's have a look at the elephant garlic then. Well, they're much greener still, aren't they? Much bigger. Yeah, I, I don't know. Should we leave them? We decided we'd pull up one for now to show you and leave the rest for a few more weeks. Pretty deep in the ground, really, aren't they? Ooh. All the way down there. Uh, oh, they're coming! Uh, oh. <laughs> Good heavens, it's enormous. Interesting. Yep, that looks pretty impressive. Oh gosh, there's little ones falling off. Do you know what these are? I suppose this is how they spread. Yeah. I think they're still too green and fresh, Tim. They haven't died back enough, have they? Yeah, but there's lots of goodness yeah. to go back down into the yeah. bulb. Massive bulb already. Yeah, hold up a, a little one next to it. Ordinary, giant, elephant, ordinary. Spot the difference. The elephant one is giant and the ordinary one is ordinary. And there's plenty left. Well done. Oof, so many. Well, yeah. 40, we all know. We spread the ordinary ones out to dry. So, we learned that the elephant garlic are just as easy to grow as the ordinary ones and are many times bigger. So, perhaps the next real test to do will be to compare the way they taste. We're looking forward to that test. Stay tuned for updates.